Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and today we will be talking about checkboxes. Checkboxes in Power Up as a simple control, we will see what you can achieve with this checkbox, what are its components, what are the tweaks you can do with the checkbox, just generally everything about checkboxes power ups. So stay tuned, Zbigniew Fukowski in. Okay, and I'm here in my power up. I already created the screen and I created the simple checkbox. First of all, checkbox has three basically most important uh, components that you want to know about. First, it's the text of this checkbox. This is the text uh, which is visible here. It's not uh, needed to be a literal text. You can also create a variable which will store the text and you can change the text uh, of the text box based on this variable. So, in, uh, so here I have the text on which the, uh, the text of my checkbox is based on. As you see, I have the, the variable text input and this variable on the change, sorry, where is it? On change is set again by itself text. This is uh, reused in the checkbox. So the text in your checkbox doesn't have to be a literal text. It can be also dynamic based on your needs. So if you have multiple checkboxes and uh, based on your form, for example, you need to name the text differently, then you can store them all, all in if it's, it's possible be with your scenario. So that's the default. Sorry, that's the text value. Next is the default default will store also the uh, default will store the variable of, of the boolean type uh, on which your checkbox will appear at first so if you have you are entering the screen for the first time or you are visiting the screen you will have this uh, uh, and you have reset your checkbox then you will have this this stored as uh, default right so if I have, uh, for example, the button and I create on the button on select, let's reset the checkbox. What is it? It's the checkbox one. It's the checkbox one. And I will reset my checkbox. Then if I click it, then reset, click it and reset. As you see, this will go to the default is the default was true. And I will reset. This will reset then to, to the true. So this can also be uh, stored in a Boolean value. So depending on your condition, you can also create a, a Boolean type value, which will store the default and default will be reset. Next. The last uh, important things are three options, which you have on check, on uncheck and on select. And let's create a variable in the text label. Let's create a variable. Let's call it var counter checkbox. Cool. And on the check let's set my var counter checkbox to var counter check checkbox plus one okay so as you can see, my variable is working and each time I check, then my variable is counting plus one. So if I do this on uncheck, it will work similarly. But for, uh, for now, I want to do this on select to show you how select is working. Up. And select, as you can see, works either way on check and on uncheck. So this may 
if you need a certain behavior of your checkbox each time the user press press the checkbox then you can work on select and then maybe you can work with conditional if and if uh, the boolean of the checkbox is true then do something else do something else but the on select will work each time Yeah, so this is it. So, so, so to summary all those things up. First, you have the text, the default, and the, and the select, uh, uncheck, and check. Those are the three main attributes. Plus, of course, the value which will keep your your checkbox state. Either it's it's uh, true or false. Then you have uh, the uh, option to reset your checkbox. But if you want to, for example, to change the name of your checkbox, that will be on the fly. And each time you press uh, the checkbox, the sel on select function will, uh, will be used. But only if you are selecting true, then the on check will work. And if you are selected false, then on uncheck will work. Last thing I want to mention with the checkbox and maybe also the display mode. And you have the 3D display mode. First display mode edit. This is the basic display mode if you want to allow your user to, to press your checkbox. Based on condition, you can just disable this checkbox. Then it will be gray out. Or you can make your checkbox unclickable with the view mode, which I honestly don't see a lot of potential usage for this option. So either my checkbox is uh, edit or disabled to indicate for the user whether he can, uh, whether they can click it or not. So basically this is all about the checkbox, which you would like to know. And other things are the styling options, which are same for all the controls. So I may not be prolongating on this too much because there is nothing interesting here either than what I've already told. So if that was helpful, you can like, sub, etc. this video. I have many other videos on Power uh, Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Automate Desktop, etc. So you can view my channel and Hope that helps. Even if Koski, I'll see you.